Hey everyone, it's Marianne with Akashic Inspirations and I am doing this video um, for a new part of my journey. And um, so this is actually a message for January 28th, 2013. And um, I've just gotten the most beautiful messages from Metatron, Toth, and Seshat. Um, <laughs> this weekend has been kind of one of kind of stepping back on all of these really tough energies that um, that a lot of us have been experiencing. I know a lot of people are not feeling well health wise or um, are in need of miracles. So the message that I got today um, Oh gosh, I don't even know how to explain how everything came about because you know sometimes you know when these things happen to you, the synchronicity of the events is just too much. Um, first of all, I was so thrilled in the little video that I put on my candle about um, Mandy, uh, Earth Mother UK, getting a message from Stuart Pierce. So that really led me to going back to his website, and he's changed it somewhat, and or perhaps I just wasn't ready and I didn't notice it before. But he had a med uh, meditations and prayers for each of the archangels. So I went into the one that was for Metatron. You know that I have my affinity with him because he's, you know, in charge of the Akashics and he's my guide. And um, so I did the meditation. And in this meditation, I was just so happy for Mandy that um, Stuart Pierce contacted her, that she's going to get his new cards, and I was just so excited. Um, and I was really excited about a message that I had received over a weekend that I also want to share with you. Um, and all of this is has to do with miracles and with us going into this energy of love. Um, Metatron came to me, and in the meditation he had an ibis <laughs> on his shoulder and on his other side was Seshat and he and she is uh, he's you know said in here the what the words that came to mind were this is his handmaiden um as I was feeling the joy for Mandy and the joy for this other lady and her miracle and I'll, I'll tell you about that in a minute I was just so happy, so joyful that the message that came across was that the joys and the miracles of others are ours too. What is yours is theirs and theirs is yours. And that, that is what this new energy of love and the fifth dimension is all about, that as one is experiencing love and miracles in their life, you can as well share it as if it were your own. And it is your own because we are all one. When I understood that and I understood the feeling, I was just so happy and smiling in my meditation. I could just feel the energies. Um, Stuart Pierce takes you through and has you work with a diamond or clear quartz crystal. So I had the diamond ring on, so I just grabbed my diamond and held it in my hand. And um, this white light, they took me, I went through this mist and was at the edge of a cliff looking out as if I were looking out over the entire planet. And um, it was when the planet was this, Green, it must have been the Garden of Eden because it was green and lush and emerald. Um, I, I'm just not a poet. I wish I were a poet that I could explain and, and, and give you what it is that I've seen and share that with you. And they told me um, that this lush, green, beautiful landscape was a, a new place in the Akashics not a, a new place for me and that I was being allowed entry into this new world um, and that my new journey is as such to deliver the messages of how miracles and joy come into your life 
um, I had already decided this a while back um, when a friend of mine, she gave me as a gift a book by Joel Olstein, um, who is a, um, a very charismatic, uh, just dynamic speaker, orator, um, teacher, and guide. And in his book, it's called I Declare, and it's 31 Promises to Speak Over Your Life. So that is going to be, now that we're going into when Jupiter goes direct on the 30th, um, I, wanted, I wanted to start this today as a 31 day taking us to the end of February. So I posted on my website a link to Amazon where you could purchase the book if you if you like um, so that you could follow me uh, a follow with me and share with me this journey of opening up to all of the blessings and the vastness of God today's first message says I declare God's incredible blessings over my life I will see an explosion of God's goodness a sudden widespread increase I will experience the surpassing greatness of God's favor it will elevate me to a level higher than I ever dreamed of explosive blessings are coming my way this is my declaration and um, so now I wanted to share with you a story and I have her permission of a lady that I did a reading for back in October Actually, it was like around the beginning of October and when I was doing all the free readings. And I basically urged her to be on her authentic path, to not let others uh, distract her, deviate her, or discourage her from what she knew that she needed to do. Well, she contacted me over the weekend and said that she had watched my video that I had done on tithing on, on last Monday. And um, that she had kind of been getting urges from Source to do so. So then on Thursday, um, she sent out her ties. And on Friday, she got the message that something that she and I, uh, that she and her husband had been working on as far as getting um, a particular job was concerned, came in. And this job um, will allow them, well, basically, once they finish this, this project that they're going to be given, um, that it will basically cover all of their needs for the rest of the year. Now, how fantastic is that? I mean, she tithes on Thursday and Friday. She gets the message that she's been given, she's been awarded this job that will allow her enough money to live for the rest of the year. So I was just so thrilled for her. I was like, oh my God, that's so amazing. That's great. And then today we see that Mandy got the message from Stuart Pierce and he, she's going to get the new cards. So I was just feeling so much joy for them and so much happiness. Um, and of course, then I was obviously called to my Angels of Atlantis cards to be able to do a reading. And um, I've lit, in addition to the healing candle that we have going for Candlemas, I've lit three candles. And they are in um, um, the intentions that I've set are for three people. And I will message you apart privately um, because they're set with healing intentions um, to provide miracles in your life. So I'm going to bring the camera around so I can show you the cards that I have pulled for this reading. And it's actually cards that I pulled for myself, but I wanted to share the message because they're so such a spectacular message. And the first card is from Michael. And look who's here, Toth. Hello. And here is the white diamond energies that I've been working with. And it says here, transmutation. I'm going to read because the book really gives a, a wonderful explanation. It says, the oracular wisdom of Michael reminds you of the great master alchemist, the great Toth. This priest wizard has been seen through the millennia working intimately with the magic of Archangel Michael. Therefore, drawing this card means you are moving through a rapid period of spiritual growth and are reminded of the need to employ the art of alchemy. 
Attempt to turn your base metal into gold, turning the negatives that come from your shadow into positivity, and ultimately, ultimately ascending into heaven for the supernal love. Sound ha through your heart for love. And this is exactly what we were talking about during the full moon uh, red tent um, event and on why we did our candle ceremony. The next card that appeared is Sandalfin with love. And here you have that spectacular Christ energy um, of love and beauty. I mean, look at it. He's just being golden glow right into his sacred heart. Um, just, let me see where I put this down. There you go. Um, and it says, Beloved, you are a child of God and a peace lover at heart. This angelic oracle comes to you as a signal that new love or a renewed love is dawning for you. See life through the compassionate eyes of your guardian angel who emanates the Christos and perceive that love as being uncompro uncompromisingly beautiful. Look to the beauty that, will, that you will create for all in radiance of your love, which is the prism of the divine. Shifting your perspective to the angelic realm means you become a human angel and start to speak miracles all around you. Chant Om Namah Shivaya to enliven your peace. And the last beautiful message from my beautiful archangel Metatron Oh, and just and it was the miracles card and this is the white diamond light there it is this is what I worked with this is what I saw um, and it says miracles are changes of perception and Metatron wishes you to know that the miracle of newborn life you are bringing your creative force to the fore do anticipate a miracle occurring for when we open ourselves to miracles we relinquish our fear to God to Metatron, who stands at the right hand of the divine. Therefore, open your mind to the possibility of any challenge you may have be, you may have being lifted from your shoulders. And when you let go, the source will gift you with unexpected joys. Please chant He from the throat chakra to enhance Metatron's magic. And I'm going to put this back, and I know I'm going, you know, kind of over, but I really, I'm really so thrilled that I decided to do this journey, that I've been given these beautiful messages of love and miracles in your life. So believe they happen, and what happens to others, miracles in, that you see in the life of others, is yours as well. And once you feel that joy and that miracle inside of you, yours are, are are already with you um i send you many blessings um i send you light i send you much love and may the divine spiritual influences of metatron michael and sandophone touch your lives namaste